Alrighty, what's up guys? Welcome back to a new video on East Coast Manga. So today we're going to be talking about how to prevent this from looking like this. And this. And this. And yes, even this. Now, of course, this is an extreme case with these two, but with the help of my tips, it can be a closed case. Get what I did there? Now, the tips I'm going to give you guys, 90% of you are going to be able to do. It is cost-effective. It is very, very easy and I highly, highly recommend it. It saves manga. So the title of this video is going to be something about protecting manga and preventing yellowing. So in general, protecting manga and then, you know, obviously specifically preventing yellowing. So what are some things that hurt manga? Well, the first one is the sun and sunlight or sun rays. That hurts manga. That is what causes this terrible, terrible sun bleaching, as well as the terrible, terrible yellowing. Now, that's not only just sunlight, unfortunately. It is all kinds of light. That is why if you go to a Barnes & Noble's and you look at the top row of manga, typically that row will have more yellowing on top than any of the other rows. So a tip is to always check your manga, obviously, before you check out. But yes, any kind of harsh light, but especially sunlight, will indeed hurt manga. Now, what's another thing that hurts manga? Well, moisture. Moisture is something that will slowly or quickly, depending on how much moisture uh, there is, start to deteriorate your manga. You also have other things that come from moisture, which is mold. If mold sets in, it's a bad news all the way around, not good whatsoever. So we'll get into how to, how to, how to prevent that um, in a little bit. But another thing that hurts your manga is smoke or very, very strong smells. Smells that either stick to clothing or stick to items. Um, from my experience, if something can stick to clothes, it could probably stick to books. Books, for whatever reason, are able to absorb smells pretty well. And some of those smells are very, very difficult to get out, if you can ever get them out. So here are a few steps to be able to prevent all of this from happening, or at least most of it from happening. Because, you know, we're not, I'm not someone who's like, okay, my manga needs to be in perfect condition. I can only have the most perfect condition manga, and it can only stay that way. I'm someone who just wants to put in a little bit of effort to maintain his manga throughout a longer period of time. So let's get straight into it. All right, so pop quiz. What was the first thing that I mentioned that hurts manga the most? It was sun and sunlight. Hopefully you guys got that right. But here is something that, all right, listen. It seems, it seems super, super simple on the surface, and it is, but I'm telling you right now, it is not something that a lot of people think about doing. But this right here will help prolong your manga exponentially, and you can get this at any Walmart, Target, literally most places that sell, you know, clothing or furniture or stuff like that, you can probably buy these at. But, you know, a Walmart or a Target, you can definitely get it, or Walmart specifically, you get, definitely get these very, very cheap. And it's a good option before you get to the next option that I have. So this right here is a pillowcase. I put the pillowcase neatly over the manga. This right here, as simple as it is, will prolong your manga if it is in direct sunlight. Now, of course, if your manga is not in direct sunlight, you don't have to do this. You don't have to stress out as much about this. But my manga is right in front of my windows, and I'm not someone who's going to have the, clo the the blinds closed. I actually almost never close my blinds. I'm on the second floor, and I like the sunlight. It, it, it helps, you know, motivate me and, and get me up and stuff like that, so I need my sunlight. But I have, my books don't need the sunlight. My books do not need any vitamin D, so this is a great option before the next option I have for you guys. So option number two in protecting your manga from sun or sunlight if you have no other option than to put them in front of that said sunlight. We have these things right here. These are adjustable rods that are used um, to hang things. Now, you can get curtains to fit this specifically, and like I said, it's adjustable, so you can fit this right in there perfectly. Now, I don't have my curtains yet. I'm still waiting on those, but I decided to make this video because I don't really need those for this video. I just need to talk about them. So what it would do is instead of a pillowcase, which, you know, sometimes you need multiple pillowcases, or you can use old t-shirts. That's not a problem either. It doesn't look great, but who cares? Because you can always just pull them off and put them back on. It takes 10 seconds at the most to, to pull them all off. But uh, this right here, you attach it just like this, except it's a curtain. So then you could pull it 
left or right or you know however you want to do it and it would just look a lot nicer and you can fit these on any of your bookshelves because they are adjustable obviously you need to buy the curtain length and the you know the size the width and the length that you would need for your bookshelves if you have different size bookshelves but that is a fantastic option and it does look really really good personally what I like to do is if I'm home and it's daytime, I usually cover these, but then as the sun starts to go down, I typically take these off, or if I'm recording a video, or streaming, or if I just want to look at them, I usually take them off. Oh, what's up guys, welcome back. So, the next issue that we need to focus and try to figure out how to fix is the moisture issue. So, the issue that we run into this is people live in all different types of climates. So, some people live in very dry climates, some people live in very humid climates. Now, if you live in a dry climate, you don't really have much to worry about actually from my knowledge I don't think there I don't think over you know overly dryness is, is gonna hurt your manga but moisture will definitely hurt your manga so one of the things that I make sure to do is you have these things on Amazon which are called I think they're called like humidity gauges so basically tell you how humid your room is and then there's also these things on Amazon called dehumidifiers. Now you can get a large one or you can just get a small one that's uh, specifically for your room. I think last time I checked you could buy one for like 40 bucks which yes is kind of expensive depending on your, your financial situation but if it really works and it helps uh, dehumidify your room it could save your manga for the long term. And like I said humidity does hurt when it comes to manga yellowing also and when things things coming to mold also deshaping your manga or warping your manga humidity also really really helps with that which is very very bad because you may not even realize that your manga is getting warped just because it's been on the shelves but then you take it off the shelf and it's like you know all all like that that usually points to the fact that it was just way too humid in your room for a period of time now in terms of smoke and smells that's this is a very difficult one and I cannot give personal experience on this one. I can only give my advice on uh, what I would assume would help. I did actually have someone in my comments who brought up this tough situation where both their parents smoke and they don't want to have to put their manga in bins but they want to know if there was any other advice I had to give where their manga may not be affected by the smoke. So I didn't actually think about this when I commented but there might be one other alternative. Now here's the issue. If that smoke gets into your room, or if you yourself smoke, literally anything, uh, could be cigarettes, could be weed, could be whatever, the, the burning process, the actual smoke itself, sticks to items and books like crazy. And it is incredibly hard to get off. I don't even think you can get it off, but it'll stick to anything from clothes to books to sneakers, and it'll be on there for years and years and years. So you absolutely do not want that. So my, best recommendation is if there is smoke that enters your room and the smell does enter your room the safest thing to do would be to bin your manga and put them in bins or lids and be able to close them unfortunately that I, I think is just the best way and most secure way to make sure that they're not affected but another alternative and you can leave any other alternatives down in the uh, comments if you want this is not like I said this is not a problem that I've personally faced so I'm not 100% sure but they do sell manga bags which you can get pretty cheap I don't really like them because I think it would actually hurt during the summer and it would trap humidity if you live in a very humid place but if you have those bags and they're sealed up potentially you could still stick that manga on your shelf and have it look good with the smoke and stuff not attaching to it um, if anything it would attach the bag I don't know if you would find this way in I I have no idea. That's just another possible alternative to that issue. But yeah, those are the three main issues when it comes to protecting your manga, at least from my memory. If you guys have any other possible situations, leave it down in the comments and I can uh, try to help you guys out with that. Or if anyone else sees uh, something they want to help out with, feel free. And I know this is like pretty simple solutions, but it's something that a lot of new collectors have issues with and they don't always think about right away. So I really, really hope this video helped people because I wish I saw this video when I first started collecting because when I first started collecting, I left all my manga out in the open. It was right in the sunlight. Now, at the same time, I would typically close my, my shades because I'd rather protect my manga and have my, my shades closed. And then I became someone who didn't want the shades closed. I wanted more sunlight. And I had to figure out, okay, how do I do this now? By the way, that case closed volume, wherever it is, oh, it's over here. Uh, this was not actually me. This is... this. 
I'm, I have never let manga get this bad. This is very insane. This is a insane case of sun bleach, but I thought it was actually a perfect example to show you guys what could potentially happen to your manga if you leave it out in the direct sunlight uh, for an extended period of time. Because believe it or not guys, you could have manga for like 10 years and if you take care of it and you treat it uh, how you're supposed to, that manga could look just like the day you bought it, maybe a little bit of yellowing, but it could look fantastic 10 years later. And then there's some manga which it's like a year later and people just whatever left it by the window and all the sun soaked it and uh, you know it looks like it's a manga from you know 20 years ago with the amount of yellowing and, and, and fading. But yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making this video. I love being able to give out these tips and now that I have more of a community and more of a platform uh, it's reaching more people now than obviously ever before on my channel. So videos specifically like this where I'm giving out advice I think is just amazing to be able to reach you know a certain amount of people and especially like newer collectors and stuff like that I think this you know just having a platform is such a trippy thing honestly but yeah I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will catch you guys later and also if you want to join the community I do have a discord down in the description it's a lot of fun it's super super chill and I also have a right self affiliate link if you want to buy anything off right stuff right now there's a, there's a huge winter sale I'm not sure if there's gonna be a winter sale by the time this uploads or obviously if you watch it later um, um, but look out for the summer sale, winter sales, and stuff like that. But yeah, if you want to help support the channel, just use the link down in the description to buy anything on the website, and I get a certain percentage of the proceeds, and you don't have to pay a thing for it.